Oh, acne, the bane of teenage existence. Wouldn't it be great if we found some really awesome way to treat it? Hey everyone, I'm Lacey Green. Welcome to D-News. When I was in high school, inevitably, every time picture day rolled around without fail, I'd just get like a pod of zits across my nose or my forehead. And I consider myself lucky. For others, it's an inconvenience that bothers them all the time. Acne affects 80% of people at some point in our lives, both teens and adults. Yet despite how common it is, we still don't really understand acne super well. If you have acne, you know that the gels and the creams and the pills out there are often ineffective. But we're getting closer to treatment with some breakthrough research that happened this week. To understand the discovery that was made, first let's hit some basics. There are two strains of Propionibacterium acnes. These bacteria irritate the skin, which can trigger an immune system response and then result in the red, irritated bumps that you see on your skin. Acne can also be caused by androgens, a type of male hormone that everybody has. A surge in androgens can overstimulate the oil glands, producing excess sebum, also known as sweat oil and other lovely things. Androgens can also cause skin cells that you're constantly shedding off your face to become really sticky. And then those skin cells are like, hey, I think I'll chill right here in your hair follicle and clog everything up. Using those strangely satisfying little pore strips that you put on your nose, scientists at UCLA tracked and analyzed the bacteria found on 100 patients' skin, which by the way was like a thousand different strains. Unsurprisingly, they found that the bacterial strains on clear faces were different than people who had acne. On clear faces, they found a third strain of acne, and they think this third strain might not be evil like the other strains of acne. It may in fact be the magical protector kind of bacteria that naturally recognizes bad bacteria on your skin and attacks it, thereby preventing the acne before it happens. In the future, they're hypothesizing that there could be a probiotic cream where you apply the good bacteria to your face, kind of like eating yogurt for healthy digestion. This discovery might also expand our ability to create a line of different formulas of lotions and creams custom tailored to each person individually. So for many people, this is really great news because acne can be painful and uncomfortable, plus it can cause people to feel kind of insecure and it certainly doesn't help that some people are mean and horrible about it. Okay guys, in the comments below, I wanna know, have you ever had acne? Or are you one of the lucky ones that doesn't have to deal with it? Thanks for joining me, guys. I'll be back again soon with more D-News.